guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, ang gagawin natin ay pork humba or pork soup. This is kind of the same sa adobong Tagalog, but there's a little bit of difference. There's actually a lot of cooking techniques on how to do this, but we'll be doing the easiest one. So let's go ahead and start. All right, for our first and main ingredient is adobong baboy. This is chunks. What I use here is pork leg, but the best is pork belly. And then I have crushed garlic, that's five cloves. You could actually just do three or four. And the next is red onion. This is actually a big red onion, so half lang yung ginamit ko. But if you have a small red onion, just use that one. Third cup of soy sauce. One tablespoon of brown sugar. And then I have here three pieces of star anise. This is the difference between adobong Tagalog and humba. Star anise and banana blossom. Ito yung nagpapamoy ng humba natin. Next is our laurel leaves. Dalawa. Half a tablespoon peppercorn. And salt. Um, any salt will do. This is actually optional. Garlic powder. Kung gusto nyo talaga yung garlicky taste, just add more. Since our pot is hot, let's put in our pork. And just mix it up until the natural oil of the pork would come out. I'm not adding any other liquid oil or water. I'm just mixing it all up for the pork not to stick to the pan. As well as for it to release its natural oil later on. After a couple of minutes when our pork has oiled up, let's add in 4 cups of water and let's add in the rest of the ingredients. Soy sauce, garlic and onion, peppercorn, brown sugar, star anise. I'm just mixing everything and cover this afterwards and let it simmer for about 30 minutes under medium high heat para lumambot yung baboy and then para maabsorb din niya yung mga sangkap na nilagay natin. So after 30 minutes, this is how it would look like. And I forgot to mention earlier that I'm putting in my secret ingredient which is ketchup. This is just to add a little bit more sweetness and just a little bit reddish color to our humba. So I'm just covering this for another 5 to 10 more minutes just to make the pork really tender. And just a tip guys, you could actually use salted black beans but since wala kami dito sa Asian store namin, ang hirap hirap hanapin. So yeah, soy sauce na lang yung ginamit ko. And then, the last ingredient that I'll be adding is that banana blossom. Ito yung nagpapabango talaga ng humba natin. So, this is our humba, guys. Kung gusto nyo malapot yung sabaw, lagyan nyo lang ng slurry, which is cornstarch and water. Kung gusto nyo namang oily siya, lagyan nyo lang ng oil or mas mabuti na used pork oil para may added flavor. And then, Minimix ko lang siya until makuha ko na yung consistency na gusto ko. So guys, ito na yung pork humba natin. Mainit-init pa as you can see. Let's give it a try. Mmm! Nambot! Mmm! Sarap! Sakto lang yung saltiness niya. A little bit of sweetness. Galing sa sugar at sa ketchup. Perfect! Mmm! Sarap sa rice nito. 
So that's it for today guys. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below kung ano pang gusto niyo gawin ko for the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until the next time guys, bye!